We will now machine the cutouts using a contour toolpath with axis substitution about the y-axis. In the Toolpaths tab, in the 2D group, select Contour. Select these chains, ensuring that they are selected counterclockwise. Then press OK. Select Tool and select Library Tool. Click on Filter. Ensure the tool type is set to flat end mill and the tool diameter is equal to 0.25 inches and press OK. Select the quarter inch flat end mill and press OK. Enter the comment Machine the cutouts using axis substitution. Select cut parameters. Ensure compensation type is set to computer and the direction is set to left. Then select lead in out. Change the line length to 60% and the arc radius to 60%. Then copy the values over. Setting the lead in out length to 60% of the tool diameter allows the tool enough space to compensate correctly while using cutter compensation and control. In our case, because we are using cutter compensation in computer, a smaller value can also be used. Select linking parameters. Enable clearance set to 2 inches absolute. Retract set to 0.25 inches absolute. Feed plane set to 0.2 inches incremental. Top of stock set to 0 absolute. And the depth is set to minus 0.15 inches. The absolute values are measured from the 2.7165 inch diameter cylinder set up in the rotary axis control page. The incremental values are measured from the chained geometry. Click on rotary axis control. Set the rotation type to axis substitution, substituting the y axis. Ensure counterclockwise is set for the rotation direction. The rotary diameter is set to 2.7165 inches. And enable unroll. The unroll parameter unrolls geometry wrapped on a cylinder so it lies flat on a plane. Cutter compensation and retract moves are then calculated relative to the flat geometry. When the toolpath posts, the geometry wraps back onto the cylinder using the axis substitution and rotary diameter parameters. Press OK to generate the toolpath. As you can see from the lines, the toolpath is generated so that the cutter is in inside the cutouts. If any of the lines are on the other side of the chain, then you likely selected the chain in a clockwise direction rather than counterclockwise. Repeat the steps making sure that the chain is selected in the correct direction. Return to the toolpaths manager and select backplot. Select the options, enable simulate rotary axis, and press OK. Then press play. Next, verify the operation. To remove the material from inside the verified model, we can use Verify Options. Click on the Verify tab. 
and select Keep Chips. Then select this part of the part. Minimize the simulation window. Return your view to isometric and fit to screen. 